So, a while ago, I tried upgrading my Dell Optiplex to put into a new case. However, everything went terribly wrong right at the end. What I would like to share with you guys is, uh, I guess, another way of upgrading your Dell Optiplex, which technically isn't an upgrade because nothing is proprietary with it. However, I would say by spending a little bit more, um, you will be able to have more options later on with whatever you decide to do with your computer. So without further ado, I'll just show you guys what I'm running now and what I took from the Optiplex and put into the new case. Okay, so here is the full setup right here. The PSU I'm currently running is the one that I initially bought for the upgrade, which is the Ares game AGV650. And the case itself came with three fans. And the motherboard I now have is the MSI Z97 Gaming 5, which happens to take the fourth gen i7 processor that I had in my Dell Optiplex. It also came with a 128 gigabyte NVMe card. Now I don't know if all these motherboards come with one, but mine did, so I'm very thankful about that. And I've got Windows installed to that. And this is the stock fan that it came with. So the main reason why I wanted to case swap my uh, Optiplex in the first place was so that I would be able to put a better graphics card in. And now that that's been accomplished, I got rid of my GTX 1050 Ti low profile. I swapped it for a GTX 1070, which is an eight gigabyte GPU. I did initially want to get a GTX 1080, but prices at that particular time for all GPUs were pretty much insane. So I ended up going for this one, which has still served me very well because it, it manages to play most games um, in high or ultra settings and, and video editing is, is, is nice and easy. But the good thing with swapping everything out of the Optiplex and putting it into this is that I'm now able to upgrade anything I want, whenever I want, however I want. The only thing that really came out of the Optiplex was the RAM. So this was the RAM that came with the Optiplex and I just slotted them into here. So basically, new case with fans, new motherboard, new GPU, new PSU. The only thing that I really kept was the RAM and the CPU, which was a fourth gen i7. So here's my little bit of advice when it comes to upgrading an Optiplex. First of all, in order to do this upgrade, you're going to need to buy a PSU and a case. The only thing that's missing from turning it into a whole different PC is just buying a motherboard. You can find motherboards on Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Amazon, wherever, for whatever budget you have. Just make sure to find the right motherboard that can work with the current CPU you have. So the way I see it is spending that extra bit of money to get yourself a new motherboard completes the whole process. You don't have to mess around with any of Dell's proprietary stuff. You don't have to worry about extra cables, extra converters, this, that, the other. It's just basically a simple plug and play moving from your Optiplex to a new case. So that's it guys, in my opinion, I think that this was a better route to go down. It was unfortunate that I fried my Optiplex in the first place, however, I think it happened for a reason, um, and the reason is I'm now fully away from the Optiplex or Dell's proprietary stuff, and upgrading things will be a lot easier in the future. Thanks for watching, I hope some of you have got some useful content out of this, and I'll see you in the next one.